I just came across a really cool component to help you develop your responsive designs. If you're using Tailwind or any other CSS framework or just vanilla CSS, it's just a really cool idea for a component that I got off ShadCN UI. When you're in that developer mode, in that documentation, I saw this component and wanted to share it with you guys. It's really helpful. What I have here on the left is a responsive design website. What you'll see is I've built this out with Tailwind, but we have a grid with six columns and each box at the moment is taking up one column. If I go ahead and inspect, what you'll see is the amount of columns that each box takes up slowly gets larger as we go down in screen size. So that at the end, each box is taking up six columns of that grid. So we're only displaying one per row. Now this is pretty much the basis for how you do responsive design. You'd be using something like grid, flex, or various other things to make sure that your site looks good on desktop and mobile and everything in between. And it's really important for modern web development as people are using so many devices now. The component I wanna show you is this one down here. Now this at the moment is applicable to Tailwind, but you could use this for any CSS framework. So what you'll see is this will change the screen size or what screen size, it will show what screen size I'm on as I move up and down the various widths. Now the reason I love this is because when I'm developing with Tailwind CSS and the breakpoints, I really like to know this value very quickly. And it's just really cool to be able to see that down there on the left. So I'm just gonna show you how that's built out really quickly. If we jump into VS Code here, what you'll see is we have a Tailwind indicator component. Now I've put this component in my Next.js layout. So you'd wanna put this anywhere in your application that essentially applies it to every page within your website. And it's got a fixed layout, which position, which means that it's gonna be always at the bottom left here with a little bit of padding so we can see it nicely. And all this bit here is, is a essentially just defining the style of it. So making sure it's a circle with a background blue, you could set this to anything you want, but the sort of magic of it happens here. And this is where you could change this to work with any different sort of CSS framework. As I said, we're using Tailwind. So essentially what we've got here is extra small, and that's not equal to any Tailwind breakpoint, but this is one that you'll define to essentially say the default, because in Tailwind, this is the default, and then anything you apply with the modifier here is gonna be applied on top of it. So at the moment, extra small shows up by default until we hit that small breakpoint. So until we hit a width of 640 pixels, and then it's gonna disappear. So it's then gonna move on to the next one, which is hidden by default, but if we're at the small breakpoint, it's gonna then show by making that display as a block. But then again, as we go up and it's at the medium breakpoint, so 768 pixels, we then hide it again so we can show the next one and there's no overlapping. But essentially this now is gonna show between 640 pixels and 768 pixels. It's gonna show that you're on that breakpoint of small and that's gonna carry on up as we go. I'll leave the code to this down in the description below, but I just thought it was really cool and shout out to ShadCN UI for showing me this. I was running that documentation up in developer mode and saw that component down there and I thought, how have I not had something like that before? It's really useful. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna find this useful as well. And as always, please subscribe for more web development tips. Thank you very much for watching.